What we're doing here is repairing a connecting rod cap that has been worked on a flat plate uh, using sandpaper or damaged with a file. You can see from the light versus dark areas that the cap has low spots on it. And if the bearing shims are set up on this cap or the bearings are set up on this cap, you'll end up with a potential for lost crush and your cap and rod uh, won't be properly aligned. What we're going to use is a specialized machine here called a cap grinder which uses a stone and a level rod to exactly set the cap up. We'll be taking off about two ten thousandths to three ten thousandths at a time as we work the cap on the machine. One thing that's critical is that this surface is absolutely free of burrs. If there are any burrs or high spots, they've got to be removed with a stone so that the cap is absolutely parallel to its bearing surface. We set up on the rod and attach, turn the machine on, it then uses very precise bearings to swing the cap over the top of a cup stone. And we'll be making several passes. You can see that we're starting to create a bright spot here and that's where the metal has been removed to return it to flatness. We should be taking off only a couple of thousandths of an inch by the time we're done here. What this ends up doing is closing up the face of the rod, the eye of the rod, so that it becomes undersized and can end up slightly oblong. If we go too far, we have to use oversize or over thick shims to make the rod round again so we don't end up with Babbitt that is too thin in some places and uh, too thick in others. So this is one of the reasons that this operation can't be done without a very specialized machine. You can't just do this with a file or do this on a piece of sandpaper on the kitchen table. Uh, once again, one of those operations that you're likely to do more harm than good if you try and do this at home or do this without the specialized machine. We've now taken uh, four or five passes. We've probably taken about one and a half thousandths total off the rod cap. As you can see, there's still a few striations and a little in the corner. We may take one more pass to give it a final cleanup. And you can see both surfaces are smooth. There's a small dark area here, but that's not going to matter when the shims are crushed down. We didn't even remove the original uh, stampings that laid out the uh, rod. Now we do the rod exactly the same way, and we're ready to fit the bearings and bore the rod.